Riders are anxious after the latest incident of crime on the New York City subway system. Police say it was just after 5.30 Thursday evening. A 62-year-old man was riding the train. The suspect was near the victim, and for reasons unknown, police tell us the suspect got agitated. And as the train approached the 72nd Street 123 station at Broadway and 72nd Street, he followed the victim to the platform level and allegedly stabbed him in the stomach. Every time I see on the news or on social media, about people being stabbed or the violence that's been going on. I just, I feel so concerned for my own safety because I have to be taking this train every, almost every day. Transit crime is on the rise. According to NYPD CompStat data, year to date, 1,200 incidents have been reported, compared to 777 for the same time period a year ago. That is a staggering 54.4% increase from 2021 to 2022. It's really an upsetting situation, and because I work in mental health, too, I feel like people are way too likely to attribute this to some sort of mental health problem, when in reality, most of the people with mental health conditions are being attacked rather than attacking others. I feel like it gets very skewed. In the past week alone, two headline-making violent attacks. On Tuesday, police say a man punched a 72-year-old in the Times Square subway station. Last weekend, a 14-year-old boy was fatally stabbed in Hamilton Heights. Police believe he was killed by another teen in a fight that spilled into a Harlem subway station. And back in May, Daniel Enriquez was fatally shot on a Q train as he was on his way to brunch. The incident, another unprovoked attack, shocked the city. The suspect in that case has pleaded not guilty to murder. I tried to always ride when there are a lot of people in the car and next to the conductor. Yeah, I don't like to ride in a car where the conductor isn't uh, seated. Yeah, New Yorkers finding their own ways to feel and stay safe, like that gentleman we spoke with. Now, the victim was stabbed in the stomach, but he is expected to survive. At this hour, police do not have anyone in custody. They are still looking for this suspect.